This is Paul and the Sidewalk Hustle. We're here with Kendall. Just a year ago, like a, a week ago, it was a year. Um, so, when did you decide this is what I want? I'm moving here, I'm gonna unleash. You did the whole sister band thing, and now. Yeah, I, I had a band with my sister, and I did all the writing, and she was the lead singer because I was terrified. I'm like, I'm not singing, hell no. <laughs> and then, when did you learn to like embrace the voice? Well, I, I was always fine in the studio. I could I could handle the studio fear, and so I made I made the EP and I came here on a whim and I didn't tell anybody I had never played a show singing before. With a band. And yeah, in my very ever in my very first show was in October and I just pretended like oh yeah I know what I'm doing. <laughs> it went really well. Fake it till you make it. Exactly. Um, so your EP candle self titled. Um, has been described as smoky, swampy, and folky. What are three were? What are three of your words describe your song? Those probably were my words. <laughs> <laughs> Damn those reviewers. I guess it's kind of bluesy, kind of dark, and I always try and make it, you know, in a dark way, somewhat beautiful. Dark and beautiful, like life. List some of your inspirations growing up. Um, growing up? Well, you don't want to hear that. <laughs> Spice Girls, Spice Girls, Spice Girls. <laughs> Pretty sweet. <serious. laughs> uh, listen to a lot of like PJ Harvey, Mazzy Star, Nick Cave. Wait, did you catch anyone yesterday? No, I didn't go. I wanted to come and then I got a horrible, I had a horrible migraine for three days. Oh no. So I was in bed just watching Family Guy and like crying. <laughs> hey. Sounds like my kind of girl. Like, come on, Peter Griffin, cheer me up. You can do it. So, um, and we talked about your father for a second, and he produced your EP, yeah. Neil Osborne. Um, what was it like working with him, embarking on that process? What did he teach you? Uh, I love working with him because he almost tries to avoid teaching me anything. He doesn't want to get too involved. He doesn't want to tell me what to do. He's like, you will appreciate everything you do so much more if you do it completely on your own. So he kind of just said, you are the boss, and I will do what you say. It's awesome working with someone that you love and trust completely. And there's no, you know, weird feelings or no... Was it was it weird bringing him, like, your lyrics and... Um, no. Oh, this is too personal for my father. There's one time, though. I can't remember what song it was. I think it was not listening or something and I was singing, I was doing a vocal take, I was singing it and he stops me in the middle of the take and I'm kind of pissed off. I'm like, yes, daddy. He's like, don't get mad, but I think you need to sing this more sexy. <laughs> and I just turned red. I was like, you can't say that word. That's horrible. Sexy. Did he not want you to be a singer? Um, I think, well, he's definitely very supportive but he would also be really, really happy if I was in medical school right now. Hey, I'm sure my parents don't want me to be a writer. <laughs> yeah. what, what can they do, eh? <laughs> so when's the album coming, a full length? I have it all ready, I just need, well, I have it all written, and I'm just hoping to get in, back into the studio in the next few months and start recording, and I just, I can't wait. Thank you so much.